Hi there, in this video I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing the Tory Burch Lee Radsbell bag which is the latest addition to my handbag collection. So I'll get straight into the unboxing just to let you know this isn't the first time that I've unboxed this bag. So the bag comes in this beautiful Tory Burch packaging which I absolutely love. So just open it up. And here she is, isn't she beautiful? Along with that, you also get a crossbody strap, which is very useful, makes the bag very versatile. Mine also came with two dust bags, which is useful for traveling. And you just get the authentication notes as well. Tory Burch isn't a brand that I'd typically gravitate towards and the reason for that is because typically their bags are emblazoned with the Tory Burch signature cross and these days I'm just not massively interested in bags that have loud branding but what I love about this particular bag is the fact that it's very subtly branded so you just get the little T here on the lock of the bag. It was the Lee Radswell range of bags that piqued my interest in the Toy Birch brand. I absolutely love these bags. They're incredibly stunning and classic. And I think they're very reminiscent of the Hermes Birkins, which has helped make them very popular and very sought after. After discovering this range of bags, it didn't take me very long to decide to pull the trigger. As far as I'm aware, these bags come in three different sizes and I have the smallest size of all of them, the petite. Along with the different range of sizes, this bag also comes in a variety of classic colours and also some jazzy colours as well. I decided to go for the bag in white because my collection is currently lacking a white bag, especially for the warmer months. There's also a dark brown leather colour and there's also a black. This bag comes with a little key which will just reattach for you. I don't wear it on the bag because I think it rattles around which I find a bit annoying so I've taken it off but I'll just pop it back on so you can see what it looks like. So that's how it would typically be and this is essentially the key for the lock so just pop it in there if you want to lock it and that's locked but I essentially never go to the trouble of doing that that's why I don't even keep this on the bag so I'm just gonna unlo unlock it and that's unlocked now the bag is made from full smooth Italian leather including the interior of the bag and it's just very well made the hardware also feels incredibly good quality and what I also love about the bag is the fact that the top handle hinges so you don't get any bending of the leather. So to attach the crossbody strap, you just hook these on to these little rings at the back. Put these on nice and easily. And there we have it. For me, the crossbody strap is a little bit long, so I'll probably get this adjusted. I typically like my bags to sit around hip height, so this is a bit below that. Although I love this bag and I love the cute petite size, I would definitely consider getting the small size, which is the size up. And that's because the size makes it a bit more versatile in terms of what you can carry. Also, another good thing about the small size is the fact that it has feet on the bottom of the bag, which the petite doesn't. It's always my preference when bags have feet because I think it protects the base of the bag and also I think it means the bag stands up a bit better when you place it down. With that said, this bag does fit all the essentials that you'd need for a night out, so I'm just going to demonstrate what fits inside. Be warned, this is quite an awkward bag to do business with. It's definitely a two-hander. So you just open it up like that. As you can see, the mouth of the bag is incredibly narrow, but you've got that beautiful full leather interior. The one thing that was a bit of a mystery to me that wasn't entirely clear on the website was whether or not it fit an iPhone 11 Pro Max inside. That's the phone that I've got and I'm currently filming on that, so I can't demonstrate whether that fits in. So instead, I'm going to use my old iPhone, um, which is around the same size. And the answer to that is, yes, it does fit. It fits nicely, 
The one thing that I would say is that I have a crystal case on my iPhone and that size difference is enough to make it a bit too snug. So when I use this bag, I have to take the crystal case off my iPhone. So that fits inside. Next, I'm gonna put my wallet in here. This is just a small card holder. That goes in there as well. And then finally a lipstick. And that's about at capacity. There's actually a magnetic closure on the top of the bag, which helps to keep the bag closed. The only thing is if you overstuff it, then it kind of sits open, meaning that you have to fasten it with the lock. Which can be a bit fiddly, but that comes with the territory with a bag like this. This is definitely a case of fashion over function. There we go. So that fits in nicely, but you wouldn't or couldn't put anything more than that in. So that concludes my unboxing and review of the Tory Burch Lee Radswell bag. Overall, I'm incredibly happy with my purchase and I can't wait to wear it out. I think the design is beautiful, very timeless, and the quality is stunning. With all of that considered, I think the price point is fair for a designer bag. So I hope all of this has been useful for you. Thank you for watching.